All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. You can give us a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. We'll get to the hotline in just a couple seconds. Uh, but I wanted to talk about the 2A state championship game a little bit. Avonworth went up to Hershey, representing the Whippeal, scored the first seven points of the game, and then gave up the next 74. Uh, good season by Avonworth, but no match for uh, Southern Columbia. Southern Columbia goes on to win its third straight state championship. Uh, winning by the score of 74 to 7. Uh, set a couple records along the way. Uh, most points scored in a championship game, also largest margin of victory. But, you know, other than this game, a really good season by Avonworth uh, winning the Whippeal Championship and going on and uh, representing the Whippeal. And state runners up, that's pretty good. Only one team in the state's better than you. All right, let's go out to Chris out on the north side. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, Richie? How's it going? Hey, thanks for calling. Hey, yo, I just got a quick question about Ben. Uh, what do you think the team would be doing if we had him in the lineup? You think the play call would be much different? You think maybe he'd be slinging it around? You know what? That's a really good question. Um, I think I would have to think that they would have a better record. Now, look, this team had a ton of injuries. But if you take Ben's injury away, um, you know, the guy's a playmaker. I think they would be at least one or two games better. You know, I, you can't blame, you know, maybe they would have won that Baltimore game. Maybe they don't get into overtime with Ben Roethlisberger out there instead of Mason Rudolph or Devlin Hodges um, or whoever it would have been. You know, that's the, that was the game that Mason Rudolph got hurt in. So they could have won that game. Maybe he brings them back to win the Seattle game. But the Seattle game, you could tell he was really struggling in that game. Um, so uh, that, that would have been a tough one. I would say one or two games. What? Maybe he could have won that. Um, the San Francisco game is a game that he could have won. A healthy Ben Roethlisberger wins that game, I would imagine. You know, the Steelers' defense got a ton of turnovers. So they're 7-5 and five right now. Um, I, would, I would venture to say that they might at least have eight or nine wins at this point with Ben Roethlisberger healthy in there. Um, now, you, you got to understand, I think it's a different mentality. This team is scratching and call, crawl, uh, clawing for wins right now, and they're the underdog. With Ben Roethlisberger, they're more of a favorite, and sometimes you saw what happened, Paul, when, when the Steelers are favorites, they kind of blow games, they go in. You know, that's what, this would really worry me if the Steelers were really healthy and the Steelers had all their, all their weapons out there because this is the kind of game that the Steelers tend to look over um, because they think they're good enough to come back and win any game. But with Devlin Hodges and the, uh, all the guys, all the backups that they have in there, um, then I, I don't know if this is the game, the game, you know, this is a, they can't afford to look past anyone with a guy like, um, no, I mean, it, this him. is, you know, this is not like when they had Ben Roethlisberger, they can't afford to lose, uh, to look over anybody and they're not good enough to look over anybody. In fact, I have concerns about this game because I think that Arizona is going to be tougher than people think they are. Um, I think if you look last week, Arizona stunk, you know, against the Rams, they only scored seven, I think it was 35, seven or something, but the last, you know, four weeks before that, they played San Francisco, who's a really good defense, twice, and they scored 25, I think, or more on in both. Yeah, they of those played games. some good teams, and they scored. They've proven yeah. they can score points at times. So, um, you know, the Steelers have never really played well out in the West Coast, although they've played well in Arizona because Arizona has been bad. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'll be honest with you, Richie. I, I, I almost expect that they're not going to win. You do? Yeah. See, I think it's, I th you know, like I said, if the starters were in there, this is a game they potentially could look past. But I don't think this team can afford to look past anyone because they're just not that good. And I, I don't think that they'll look past this. But this is a game that does kind of scare me like that, that Bengals game did. And, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they lost. I do think that they're going to win this game, though. Uh, who are we going out to now, Steve? Jerry from North Charleroi. Jerry, what's up, buddy? Hi, Rich. Hey, Jerry. Hey, uh, you guys. I watch you every night, and I finally got through. It's real quick. Uh, I'm going to let it go for the uh, Steelers' offense. Okay. The Steelers' offense right now is probably 10, 15 years behind the times. And the, and the reason I'm saying that is because if you look at Cleveland and you look at Baltimore – 
teams in their conference. They have running quarterbacks. They run a new style of offense. I mean, I love Brent Roethlisberger. Hey, Jerry, I love, would you say uh, that? Like, it's a straight drop back pace yeah. passer, but that is not the way to make it. In, in today's game. Jerry. You've got to have somebody Jerry. that can run, and Jerry. probably you need two guys. Jerry. Hey, so when the Steelers had Cordell, were they 15 years ahead of the time? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. Is, is I, Jerry, I hate to disagree with you here, but I hate to disagree with you, but I think their offense is pretty good up until. Is Baker you know, Mayfield year. a running quarterback? I think he's or a guy a that extends can, plays. Can, I, I wouldn't call him a running and, quarterback. And what is Devlin Hodges? A guy that can extend plays. Exactly. Too. Ben Roethlisberger is another Lamar guy that Jackson, can extend Lamar plays. Lamar Jackson's a, a quarterback that runs. Absolutely. Is Lamar Jackson a run-first quarterback? No. Not anymore. He I might think, have been I in think, college. Well, but the the point is, how many guys like Lamar Jackson are out there playing quarterback right now? One, maybe Russell Kyler Murray. Wilson, Russell, Russell Wilson's a guy who can run, but he, you know what? He's, he's, a, a, he's a passer yep. that scrambles. Patrick Mahomes can run, but he's a passer that scrambles. The kid that they're getting ready to play, passer that scrambles. There's very few running quarterbacks. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Yeah, Bud Dupree actually compared Kyler Murray to Lamar Jackson. It's not a good comparison. Well, that's what they that's what they said. So I'm just um, saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean you know, Lamar Jackson's going to win the MVP. Potentially. Lamar Jackson is a big, strong guy, who they design running plays for. How many running plays do they design for Kyler Murray? Does he run 10, 12, 13 times a game? I, I haven't checked that, but, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I know what you mean. It's completely different. It's one thing to be a guy that can run. If 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 you know a play comes, you know, and and the the, the rusher comes in, you know, you you run out of the pocket and then you run for 15. Yeah. Okay. There's some guys that do that. There might even be some times where they use like a, a quarterback draw or something to take advantage of what Devlin Hodges does. It's no different than what he's talking about. Lamar Jackson is a completely different animal. I think that this game is going to be close. I really do. I think the Steelers are going to have to play like they did last week against Cleveland. They're going to, have, they're going to need a turnover that's going to help them get points. Uh, they've been stressing all year. They lead the NFL in turnovers. They're going to continue to do it. And you would think at a young quarterback, they'll be able to manage to get at least one or two turnovers. And that's how you win a game like this because we know that the Cardinals can score points. Uh, but can the Cardinals stop? The Steelers' offense, you know, even though the Steelers' off offense is mediocre at best, um, can, can this Cardinals' defense um, stop them? All right, got to take a break. Back with more of your phone calls, maybe some of your tweets. Coming up next, stay right there. <laughs> 